Hi there, Kyle here and welcome back to another video on EWS method and recently we actually just took um, another trait uh, and I just want to share with you, you know, the simple process of um, one, two, three, how we actually adopt uh, the EWS method to look at a market and um, trade it with ease, right? So without further ado, I'm going to show you my screen and uh, walk you through, you know, exactly what are the steps that we look at in order for us to take a trade and how we manage that along the way. Right, so what you see over here uh, on my screen is what we call the seasonal cards. So usually the first thing we do is um, we are actually leveraging on the um, historical seasonal patterns to help us identify like which are the potential pairs that we really want to pay attention to. Okay, and uh, of course, which are the pairs that has a higher probability of moving in a certain direction. Now, if you take a look at this one here on Euro Australia, Okay, um, between 25th of August to 6th of September, um, you know, we are looking at the direction of a cell and based on historical pattern on the past 10 years, there are 80% reliability factor that Euro Australia during this window period will tend to drop. Okay, so that gives us a very clear sense of direction as well as we know during this window period, we definitely want to keep an eye on Euro Australia. Okay, so that's the first tab that we use um, to reference to the seasonal cards that we have. And then what happened next is that um, we'll just basically look at the technical setup of it. Okay, and with that, um, I'm going to show you a snippet of a recording that we did. Uh, and then from there, okay, you have a much better understanding of um, how we look at the technical as part of the second step in EWS method as well. Okay. Um, quick assessment on this chart here um, from a four hour okay, perspective. Um, we are technically still within that corrective move. Okay, so you can see the push is going up, but it's not really going up very, very fast, right? Relative to this move down. So generally, I'm still looking at it as a corrective pattern. Okay, um, for those of you who are thinking a little bit more on the aggressive approach. Um, this move up here, you can see on the one hour scale, okay, it's a little bit clearer on the one hour chart. Uh, it's not really going up very fast as well, right? It's up a little bit, coming down a little bit, and then you have see a lot of white and red candles as it's continued climbing up, okay? So overall, I'm still looking at this um, more of like a corrective pattern that looks something like that. So there's a good chance that we can see something like this for the break to the downside, right? Okay, so uh, if I were to put in the lines, Okay, this here is um, what I'm referring to. Okay, so you can see this is still pretty much corrective in nature. Okay, and therefore we have this as a one, two, three, and this can still come back down. Okay, so depending on how aggressive you are, um, we can even start to consider like even on a one hour scale, um, mini breaks, right? And if that goes, uh, that will be still pretty much a decent trade and then the stops at the bottom, okay? Um, this is definitely very aggressive because it becomes like we are taking trade on one hour time frame, which user, usually I stick to is more on the four hour scale, right? Okay, um, but I just want you to know that it's a decent and valid trade if you're looking at this break low, okay? And then your stops is just above here, right? Um, that is definitely a decent trade on the one hour scale and one hour perspective. Okay, yeah? so um, just a quick update on this trade here as well. Right, so you have seen, um, you know, how we actually, the first step using the seasonal cards to identify the traits that we want to look out for. And then the second step is where we walk through the technical entry to find where we're going to place our entry, where we're going to put our stops. And um, the third step is essentially just about managing it, right? So just to show you how Euro Australia, the, the trade has been moving. Okay, so as of yesterday, we did get a very nice push to the downside. Uh, and we are riding on um, a pretty decent, I would say close to 2.5 reward, okay, depending on what is the risk that you put in. And what we then need to do right now is with such an amount of profits, we just simply need to shift our stops to break even, okay, uh, or even shift it to a little bit lower to protect whatever profits that we're going to have, right? So the whole idea here is to number one, using the cards to identify the setups, the opportunity, Number two, look at the technical to place our entry and um, stops. And number three is simply to just manage the trade along the way. Okay, and of course, we will never know exactly how it's going to happen next um, in terms of like, you know, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what is going to happen on Euro Australia. 
but the idea here is that we're just going to manage it accordingly protect our profits and you know let the market develop and if you can we ride it as far as possible Right, so with that, um, I hope this little video here um, does give you a much better understanding again about what the EWS methodology is. And uh, if you're really keen, you know, to really take this up, uh, we do have a couple of seats left. And once this is done, you know, you're never going to see this offer um, as what we have presented uh, anymore. Okay, so if you're someone who is serious, uh, I would suggest that you do take full use of this opportunity. Um, and get a hold of the EWS methodology. So with that, all the best to your trading, and I'll see you guys real soon again.